Welcome to this episode of Disrepair. Today we take this from a one wheel peel to the real deal. We put a limited slip diff in a Model 3 motor. We are going to swap out the open differential for a limited slip differential in this Model 3 motor. Well, I just put an axle in here just to test to make sure it actually was an open differential in here before we went any further. I'm ready now. <laughs> All right. So because we're putting this in a DeLorean, we uh, made a lot of effort to be able to put this in between the frame rails without cutting any holes or pockets for it. So when you take yours apart, it's going to have this piece on the side instead of the piece you see here. This is a custom design bracket to mount a Model 3 motor into a DeLorean. So to make this piece, just set this piece on a flatbed scanner and scanned it, and then took the dimensions in Fusion to make this piece. 3D printed one before I made the metal one just to make sure it fit. Check out those bits. I've never seen any bit like that before. I don't know. It's an E12. It's an E12. But I don't want to- James, you get to say, I was right, it's an E12. I was right, it's an E12. James is wrong, it's an E10 bit. Oh. Um, but <laughs> my wife found these, they're like, I think they're 89 cents a piece, but they taste just like those white monsters, like the white sugar-free monsters, delicious. <laughs> they are good, aren't they? They taste just like the white ones. All right. This is gonna make a mess, I promise. I promise. Okay. Oh, there we go. That didn't make as big a mess as I was thinking. Oh, there it goes. Well, even Put this is never down in there. there. Yeah. Hmm. So it's got a Tesla part number. We're hoping this is something we could buy at O'Reilly's. I'm removing the coolant fittings off of the back of this motor. This is a. T25 goes right into that screw there. Oh, you loosened it. Into a... oh. Is that also a T25? Yes, this one is also a T25. Yeah, we already. This got drained as soon as it came in, pretty much. That's good. It comes this way on a stock Model 3. Oh, really? And I was asking everybody, and there's like, there's no way you can change that. Le, 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 le. I just figured out you'd take these two screws out, and this whole housing is just a housing it clips onto. And whoop, whoop, popped it in the other way, boom, the wires come out the back instead of the front. We're doing these phase connectors next. Here. You need us to tip it? Under this cover. Um, there's just three little bolts that are going under there. That way, whenever we pop this front off, the phase connector wires aren't going to try to rip everything else out with it. All right. Hello. So he's working on the phase wires right now. There he goes. Ooh. All right. And the metrics has got to be that. So we're using a 10 millimeter bit here, uh, a regular hex bit, to be able to take out the, the three bolts for the phase wire so that when you take that cover off, it does not pull everything else with it. You're going to take the heat exchanger off. And it is a, uh, we've been using this extractor bit because our uh, inverted Torx bit doesn't seem to be the right size. So on the, the number of bolts that we got going on here, there's 10 of these bolts on the motor side, so facing this way, and then there's eight of them that are you're going to take out from the other direction. So 18 in total. <laughs> I think you took out like three of them in the time it took me to take this one out by hand. I know you want to hit that. There you go. So the, we did a small drive unit, Tesla small drive unit, and it was really hard to get these apart. This one just wanted to come apart. One right there. Yeah. It's got these thrust washers that fall out. Is there one for this one or not? Um, you just have those two? I'm going to grab that. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not seeing. I'm sure it's important that those go in the same place. Yes. Oh. Yeah. You're, oh, you it's need... like one of those reusable gaskets. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even need well, to put nice. silicone on there. Oh, yeah. No silicone. Oh, wow. That alone makes, makes me want to purchase Model 3s. <laughs> so... What we know about the Model 3 versus like the small drive unit is this is much more complex to take apart. It's a little kind of a jigsaw, but I played a lot of Tetris as a kid, so this is not going to be a problem. 
So we're just taking this cover out, and this has this little clip on here that goes in there, so it should come out easy now. Okay. Nope. One out. Maybe. Uh, yeah, that one's out. And then this is the last thing. Oh, woo. that comes out too. Okay. The kit. Okay. It has a thrust uh, washer on this side. So maybe it, that's probably how they set the, uh, the lash, huh? Yeah. So we're going to remove these bearings and then remove the gear, the ring gear, and then we just swap out the differential. It's, kind of, it's, it's just like a carrier on like a nine inch at this point. But you see, it's an open differential. Differential here. The limited slip differential that we got also came with these bolts that are stronger than the ones that come already in the car. And so we're going to change them out with these ones. So we had to modify our pull a little bit to be able to work with these uh, bearings on this differential. Uh, we had to shave off the ends a little bit just so they could slip underneath the bearing and be able to pull it up. Okay. So you take all these bolts out, and actually, uh, it came with new bolts, new stronger bolts. So we will not be reusing the bolts we're taking out right now. Oh, I was taking the ring gear off and it smashed my fingers as it came down. I, I didn't know my own strength. God, dude. So the next step is put this ring gear back on. Oh, that slipped on real easy. That was nice. Oh, nice. Came with what, 10.8s or 10.9s? And they give you 12.9s. Okay, the next thing we had to do uh, on the differential is we needed to tighten down these bolts that are on the top here. They, we tighten them down to 100 nan newton meters or 75 foot pounds. Oh, we got chicken! Chicken! Yeah. Let's eat. <laughs> Did you get the spicy? I got the spicy. All right. Do it. Did you, drive to, did you drive to actual Kentucky? Dude, I had to wait forever at NTD. Let's eat some chicken. Serious? Mm, I just don't like it. Do you like okra? Who doesn't like okra? Like, Dude, everybody it's likes like okra. It's like you deep fried a celery stick. Exactly. Okra is awesome. The whole box is soggy because he's been gone so long. Oh my gosh, it came from the Oh, that's right, it's on. 75 foot pounds. Mmm. Bro, this is probably one of the best okras I've is had. Is it good okra? Okay. Yeah. Right. Tastes like I've little. had okra since I had elementary school. You remember that okra they give you at the school? Yeah, it's made out of like rocks. Uh, yeah. It's probably like if this pellet. gets set out and they put it in a warehouse for like five years, then they deep fry it at your school. It's like brand new okra. I've said they upped their game recently. Yeah, like the combination of the spicy chicken yeah. and gravy, it just takes off just enough of the spice to make it like really good. Brent, thanks for helping all morning with the, uh, he went and got food. Got food. So how is a corn nugget? Mmm. Remarkably good. Not bad, huh? Mm-hmm. I guess we can't ever use this paper again. Oh, no. It looks like the paper you all used to mask Ooh. off that engine compartment. <sighs> is he going to bottom out with a flat plate? I don't want to turn the hole that size of it. So every once in a while when you're doing something, you kind of learn the hard way. On this, you want to kind of get all three gears going in at once. Um, it kind of takes, it takes a buddy, you know? You don't want to have just, you trying to slide this all together because you'd have to manhandle all these gears. So we're gonna have to slide it back just a smidge, just so we can get this third one on. All right, ready? Okay, here's what, we're lifting all these in all at once. Okay, so everything's kind of in place. This one, slide that one in. in a little more. It's got a spline on there. Okay, kind of get that, oh. get it under that bearing, okay. There we go now. Everything kind of has to go together. There we go. In That's... one smooth, nice motion. You probably what it would have helped is if you could stand this thing up on yeah. end. That would probably help you. 
because then you got gravity on your side, you know? Yeah, this is not meshing right. There's something, yeah, it's, it's this, this needs to go in a little bit more. That's okay, it's not hitting, that, it's not holding it. It will go together, it will. It came apart, it came apart. It's this thing, so we're good. It's going together, everything, go ahead and get this one down. Have you ever played that game Whack-A-Mole? Oh, oh, it all just, right when it was done, it just all slipped into place. Okay. Nice. Everything looks really good. Now, okay. you wanna make sure this is back in place. Yeah. It's got that oil fling, slinger. Yeah, yeah, that's everything's good. There, there. there. Yep, that's in place. The pins are in. Okay. Okay. So now it's just—I mean, now it's just put the—you put the gasket back on, that other cover back on, just in the reverse order. You've taken it apart. Um, I'll let you guys have it. Okay. This is. We have to like, oh, we need to tip it and put this on like sideways. Here, yeah. yeah, here, how you would do, this has, this has thrust washers. Here. When you're taking this apart, make sure that you retain and retain document where these the thrust washers go. These are very important to set the lash and all that on the gears. We did a careful job on that. Job on a... All right, so you want to have the settings so these don't fall out. So our, our setup here is we're going to drop they kind of put these together so the thrust washers and everything stays in place. I'm sure Elon probably has somebody with really small hands to do this, but where's Michael? He put a little um, grease. Yeah, on he put this. a little grease on me. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that. We're gonna grease these, kind of help them stay in place. Yeah, you got some. Yeah, I got some you grease. Some grease. You got it. You got yeah. it. That may work. Can you set it on there. Okay. You want to put these through these three holes? Yep. They get you see the three places. And you gotta line this in? guy up too. And that has to be lined yep. up as well. Okay. So we got enough people here. There's also these. Oh, the dowels. Okay. The dowel posts. Okay. Got it. A lot of things to make sure they go properly. If you hear a clink, we're stopping and pulling it back off. Okay. Oh. That's got to be careful because there's this hose as well. Yeah. That That's got to line up. Can you see it from the other side or not? No. No. This is an internal. God. So here, oh there, let's try to get straightened up. Yeah, and that's the uh, dowel's in the right place now too. Oh, let's, let's go here. There, there, there. Oh. Yeah, once it gets past that bearing, I'm sure we're both holding up the most, you know? Okay, we sent it home. So if it doesn't feel like it's going, it's not. Okay, it's perfectly machined, everything's got to fit. So. Keep working with it. This stuff's all got to line up at the same time. We're in good shape right now, so. Yep, so we're putting bolts back in. Okay. So now he's just putting bolts back in. Oh, you need to open it's back okay. in? No, that's good. Okay. The next, the, 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 Here's tell the, them what you did. Here's the actual tools. Oh, see. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. That fits like a champ. What size is it? It is a 10. I don't remember that who that makes right, who that makes wrong. I can feel the O-ring is going to pull in. I think you better go evenly on this. You don't want to snap this plastic housing. Were you not able to slide it all the way in? Right on the bottom right. It did. It slid all the way in except for just right at the edge there. Uh, no labels on the box. Uh, yeah, it's model three. All right. All right, so we made quite a mess, but we learned a lot in the process too. Um, the limited slip differential went in really nice with a little bit of learning curve on aligning the gears, but I would say that was the only hard part. We're getting the gears lined up. Everything else this is pretty straightforward. On a scale of like one to 10 difficulty, I'd probably give it a five. Can a guy do this at home? I think so. I think if you have Torx bits and uh, what, whether we found the inverted Torx bits, yeah. then it it's, can be done with basic hand tools. Big day today. This is going in that with these guys' help and none of mine.
so I have so many videos of you doing this, jacking. Just, I like to jack just, around. Just Brent jacking for. Oh. Just for. Because yeah. here in a minute we're gonna have to do that thing where we kind of jam this side up. Remember? Yeah. Because yeah, you're about to hit the coolant fitting, so you better stop. Um. Yeah, we twist it. Yeah, is that it? No. Hey, it can't. Is it this way? Over this way? Yeah, it's this way, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm good over here. Yep, I'm good. Watch your. Nope. Still good. Good. Yep, I'm still good. I'm gonna actually move over this way a little bit. Cause we're about to get that over, and that's when we're, that's when we're golden. Okay, I'm a little bit more. That area. <laughs> and right, right there is really good. Okay, let's start getting out here. Do you have the bolts? Yep. Uh, here's your sandwich plate. I'll let James do that because he designed them all. Is all this right. a kit or a uh, fabricated thing? So, well, we fabricated a kit. So we did take into, while we designed this, tried to make it to where if someone else was doing a DeLorean, we could make these pieces again fairly easily. Everything's designed in CAD to help us some 3D scanning um, and lots and lots of measurement. So uh, the easiest way to do this one is we put the motor up first and then slip these into place. So this goes on the outside of the frame, match these holes. The reason for that is, is because uh, you know, we needed to make sure we have a lot of strength there. And I think I've got your plate and you've got mine. And they were slightly different this side. Let's see, is this uh, this side? Yes. That's good. Yeah, they had to be slightly different per side because I had to clear this little gusset here. Uh, but then the other side had this other side. Like each side had its own unique challenges to clear. That's also why we saw earlier on that side bracket on the motor, that's why that is flat versus the original one. Because we were, um, we had a goal to not cut the frame to do this. Ready? Should be good, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yep, a little more. I think that is about it right there. Okay, today is the moment of truth here. We've got the motor in this, and we're actually going to put some batteries in. So we've got our battery boxes all pre-assembled. Just going to drop right in. This will take like three minutes, and it's going to take much longer. 